In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on December 5th, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. New York Rangers vs. Ottawa Senators A compelling showdown is set to unfold as two formidable Eastern Conference teams hit the ice, vying for supremacy in the capital city of Canada. The New York Rangers embark on a road journey, crossing borders to face off against the Ottawa Senators in what promises to be an intense Tuesday night clash. Fresh off a thrilling 6-5 home victory against the Sharks, the Rangers are riding the momentum of a three-game winning streak. Meanwhile, the Senators are basking in the glory of a recent 2-0 shutout win over the Seattle Kraken on home ice. In the last 10 encounters between these two teams, the Rangers hold a slender 5-4-1 advantage, but the Senators have managed to claim victory in the last two meetings, including a notable 5-3 road triumph on March 2, 2023. Despite the Senators' recent success, the Rangers have been on fire securing wins in eight of their last ten games. The offensive prowess of the Rangers, exemplified by their ability to overcome a five-goal defensive lapse against the Sharks, places them in a formidable position. Artemi Panarin's stellar performance in the last game, where he netted three goals and contributed an assist, showcased the Rangers' offensive firepower. Currently averaging 3.44 goals per game, the Rangers' offense stands as the sixth best in the league, complemented by a defense that allows only 2.56 goals per game also ranking sixth. The Senators, on the other hand, exhibited a strong defensive display in their recent victory against the Kraken, clinching a 2-0 win. However, their season averages reveal a more balanced but less dominant performance, with an average of 3.31 goals for and against per game. Tim Stutzel's notable contribution of 5 goals and 18 assists adds to the Senators' offensive capabilities. As the game approaches, the Rangers boast a red-hot streak, winning 6 of their last 7 games, propelled by solid defensive performances. Goaltender Igor Shesterkin, with a 10-4-0 record, a 2.58 goals against average, and a .916 save percentage leads the defensive charge. Jonathan Quick's impressive 7-0-1 record, 2.34 goals against average, and .918 save percentage add further strength to the Rangers' goaltending. Comparatively, the Senators' defense and goaltending have struggled, ranking 20th in goals against per game and 16th in shots against per game. This defensive vulnerability, combined with the Rangers' offensive prowess and goaltending advantage, positions the Rangers as the more reliable and consistent team. In addition to their offensive and defensive superiority, the Rangers excel on special teams, ranking third in power play efficiency. This poses a significant challenge for the struggling Senators, who find themselves in the bottom third of the league in both power play and penalty-killing success. Considering the Rangers' recent success against the Senators, winning four of the last six meetings, and their overall superior performance, siding with the Rangers on the road appears to be a prudent choice, especially given the favorable odds. Thus, the New York Rangers' money line emerges as the full game side pick. Delving into the total pick, the historical scoring trends between these two teams suggest a conservative approach. Over the last 10 meetings, the Rangers have averaged 2.6 goals per game, while the Senators have notched an average of 2.8 goals per game. Furthermore, the Rangers' defensive strength, led by Shesterkin and Quick, coupled with the Senators' struggles on offense, indicate a likelihood of a lower scoring affair. Statistically, the under has been a prevalent outcome in recent matchups between the Rangers and Senators, with a 7-2 record favoring the under. Anticipating a sound goaltending performance from Shesterkin and his counterpart, the full game total pick leans towards the under the projected total. 
San Jose Sharks versus New York Islanders. In a highly anticipated interconference clash, the struggling San Jose Sharks are set to face off against the formidable New York Islanders on Tuesday evening. The Sharks are coming off a disappointing road loss to the Rangers, where they led at various points in the game but ultimately succumbed to a 6-5 defeat. Meanwhile, the Islanders are riding high after a significant road triumph against the Panthers on Saturday, adding to their 2-0 sweep against the Sharks from the previous season. San Jose's season record record stands at 6 to 17 to 2 and they find themselves at the bottom of various statistical categories. In their recent loss to the Rangers, the Sharks showcased some offensive prowess, leading 2-1 in the first period and tying the game at 3-3 in the second. However, they faltered in allowing the Rangers to score the next three goals. Overall, the Sharks are averaging a modest 1.88 goals per game while conceding an alarming four goals against per game. Tomas Hurdle has been a lone bright spot for the Sharks, leading the team with four goals, 14 assists, and 49 shots on goal. Goaltender Mackenzie Blackwood, with a 3-11-2 record, shoulders the responsibility in the net. The Islanders, with a season record of 10-7-6, are displaying a more balanced performance. Their recent victory against the Panthers showcased their ability to pull away in critical moments, scoring three of the next four goals after being tied at one in the second period. Matthew Barzell has been a standout performer for the Islanders, contributing seven goals, 16 assists, and 72 shots on goal. Goaltender Semyon Varlamov, boasting a 4-3-1 record, has been solid with a 2.5 goals against average and a .926 save percentage. Despite the Sharks showing signs of improvement in their recent games, the Islanders remain a force to be reckoned with, losing only once in regulation in their last nine games. The Sharks' offensive struggles, ranking last in the NHL in various categories, are in stark contrast to the Islanders' recent goal-scoring prowess. New York's increased scoring, exemplified by five goals against against the Hurricanes and four against the Panthers suggest a potential challenge for the Sharks' struggling defense. While the Sharks have demonstrated some improvement in their last six games, securing wins against notable teams like New Jersey, Washington, and Vancouver, their road record remains dismal at 1-11. In contrast, the Islanders, with nine goals in their last two games, boast a more favorable 4-3-4 home record. Despite the Sharks' recent uptick, the historical performance suggests the Islanders as favorites to win here. So the New York Islanders' money line is our full game side pick. The Sharks have managed to increase their offensive output, averaging 2.9 goals in their last 10 games, a notable improvement over their season average of 1.6 goals. However, the Islanders have been on a goal-scoring spree, registering at least five goals in four of their last eight games, including a remarkable 13 goals in their last two outings. Given the offensive momentum of both teams, a high-scoring affair seems likely. Therefore, over the projected total is our full-game total pick. New Jersey Devils vs. Vancouver Canucks The upcoming matchup between the New Jersey Devils and the Vancouver Canucks at Rogers Arena promises to be an exciting clash between two dynamic teams with distinct strengths. The Devils, currently standing at 11-10 to 1 this season and residing in the 12th spot in the Eastern Conference, are coming off a 6-3 loss to the San Jose Sharks. Despite an impressive 47-18 shot advantage and a 1-2 power play performance, the Devils fell short in the third period, allowing three additional goals. On the offensive front, the Devils have showcased their prowess by winning their previous three games against the Flyers, Islanders, and Sabres, scoring an average of 3.59 goals per game. However, their defensive struggles are evident, allowing an average of 3.73 goals against per game. Jack Hughes has been a standout player for the Devils this season, leading the team with nine goals, 21 assists, and 81 shots on goal. The projected starting goalie for New Jersey is Vitek Vainsek, who holds an 8-5-0 record, with a 3.49 goals against average and a .879 save percentage. On the opposing side, the Vancouver Canucks boast an impressive 16-8-1 record and occupy the second position in the Western Conference. In their last game, they secured a hard-fought 4-3 victory over the Calgary Flames, maintaining their offensive prowess with a 3.84 goals per game average. JT Miller leads the Canucks with 13 goals, 23 assists, 
and 56 shots on goal, while Thatcher Demko, with a 12-6-0 record, a 2.26 goals against average, and a .924 save percentage, is expected to be the starting goalie. Despite Vancouver's reputation as a solid defensive team, the Devils' offensive firepower poses a significant challenge. The game is poised to be a closely contested battle, with both teams having the potential to secure a victory. Thatcher Demko's stellar performance in the last three starts for the Canucks makes them a strong contender, especially considering their impressive home record of 8-2-1. to On the other hand, the Devils have struggled on the road, losing four of their last seven away contests. While the Devils may have won both games against the Canucks last season, the dynamics have shifted with Rick Tockett leading the Canucks in his first full season as head coach. Having won three of their last four games, the Devils enter the matchup with momentum but are coming off a disappointing home loss to San Jose. The Canucks, on the other hand, aim to start a successful home stand after being unable to string two consecutive wins in recent weeks. Despite the Devils' offensive capabilities, the Canucks' superior defense, allowing only 2.56 goals against per game, makes them the favored team to win in this matchup. The full game side pick leans toward the Vancouver Canucks money line, offering an enticing option at almost even money. The bookies anticipate an intense game at Rogers Arena, setting the total at 6.5 goals with a slight lean towards the over. The Devils have consistently scored three or more goals in their recent outings, and seven of their last nine games have seen more than six total goals. Similarly, the Canucks have a favorable trend with the over, going 12-6 in their last 18 games and 6-1 in their last seven against Eastern Conference teams teams. Considering the offensive capabilities of both teams and the potential defensive vulnerabilities, even if the Canucks manage to limit the Devils to two goals, their potent offense is likely to contribute significantly, potentially resulting in a high-scoring affair. Vidic Vainsek's recent struggles in goal for the Devils further support the likelihood of a game that surpasses the projected total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. The Canucks, starting a long home stand, will be eager to please their fans with an offensive showcase. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.